Hello everyone, welcome to PI Consulting Pro. This is another episode of Deck Sundays and in today's episode I'm going to tell you how you can use the different Dex functions under one measure. That means in today's video I'm going to show you one measure in which I'm going to use five Dex functions. Over here on your screen right now you can see all five Dex functions that I'm going to use in this video. The very first is calculate which is going to evaluate an expression in a modified filter context. Number second is calculate table, which is going to evaluate a table expression in a modified filter context. Third would be the add columns. It is going to add calculated column to the given table or table expression. Number fourth is summarize text function. It returns a summary table for the requested totals over a set of groups. And lastly, we are also going to use all except text function. It basically going to remove all the context filters in the table except filters that have been applied to the specified column. So now before using them, let me come to the problem that we are going to solve here today. I have this my customer sales dashboard over here. You can see on the top I have a table. In the table, I have my month year column, and then I have my customer keys, first name, gender, marital status, email address, and sales amount. That sales amount, a customer can be multiple times. Over here, you can see 11952 customer had two times, and similarly, 11964 is two times, and there would be more customers. Basically, this data is for 2012 and 2013 only, as you can see from the slicer. So now what we need, I want to check the all time sales amount for a particular customer. That means if I'll check this 11952, so it's basically now over here is broke down into two. That is 2396 and 2398. But I would like to check its total sales for lifetime, no matter how many times it's appearing into our database. And over here, I would like to check in front of the customer key, its total lifetime sales. How we can do that, how we can remove other filters or how we can calculate that kind of in a much efficient way so that the performance is also not going to impact it and we are able to solve our problem. So how can we do that? I'm going to let you know in this video and I'm going to help you to understand all those five DEX functions that I'm going to use. For specific DEX functions, if you would like to know more, please visit our channel and over there is a DEX tutorial series and you can learn everything over there. So now enough all the talking, let's get started. So the very first part I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my model over here that I'm going to use over here. This is my date table and here's my customer table. Over here, I have merged my customer table with my sales table so that I can have all those fields into one table. There's another table which is sales table. It's completely hidden right now in the model. So basically we are going to use just the date table and the customer table over here. Secondly, I have created a measure that is my all sales and over here in my customer table, if I'll go over here, you will see this all sales measure. This measure is basically using some DAX function only and here I'm using some on the sales amount column. So that's how I'm getting my all sales. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write my new DAX measure where I'm going to calculate the sales lifetime for any customer. First of all, you have to click on new measure. I'm going to click over here new measure. So now I'm going to give it a name. So now my major name is sales lifetime and from here onwards I'm going to write my DEX expression with the help of DEX functions. And I'm going to start very first with the calculate because it's necessary to modify all the filter context. So over here I can select calculate from this one. Now what I have to do secondly I have to use my all sales. I have already created a measure over here so I can directly use my all sales. You can also try to use it like this and this is my all sales measure which I have already created. After that I need a table so for that what I'm going to use I'm going to use calculate table dex function over here. So let me write it over here calculate table which is over here you can select from here. 
and now inside it you have to give your expression which requires a table itself and add columns is gonna return you a new table so over here what I'm gonna use I'm going to use my add column dex function over here and inside this what I'm gonna use I'm going to use another dex function that would be my summarize dex function so why I'm doing that because I need a table where I have summary of all the customer key and also I have my all sales so basically I need a table where only I have my customer keys as well as my sales in front of them that is their total sales so you can write it over here under this summarize once you write summarize now you have to provide your table name and my table name is my customer because in the customer table I have my customer key and second column that we want to add over here would be our sales that means our all sales so you have to give it a name for that particular column so I'm going to call it lifetime sales so let me write it so according to my requirement I need only the lifetime sales for particular customer that means my sale should not get varied by any other filter or any other context except the customer key so over here I need to give it a filter where it's going to remove all the filters except my customer key so what I can write over here I can write like this all except and here we write all except which is going to use the table name and the column name and my table name would be again my customer table and my column name would be customer key okay guys now I'm trying to summarize it once more so that you can understand but before that you should understand our goal our goal is simple we want to calculate the total sales for any customer through his lifetime from the beginning of the time that customer is in the database and also you should remember that our sales should not get filtered by any other column or any other field except the customer key so what I'm doing over here I'm first using my calculate next function which is going to use to modify your filter context over here our filter context is all except that means it's saying remove all the filters except the customer key so first it's using a measure or you can see your dex expression over here which is our all sales that we have to use because we have to apply this on all sales and then I'm using calculate table calculate table is gonna operate on the table where I'm using add columns and under add columns I have one column which is my customer key and another column is my sales that means I needed a table where I have my only customer key and their total sales that's it that's all I need over here now you can either hit enter button or you can click over here so right now over here my expected result is for 11952 my total sales in front of each of these fields should come the total lifetime sales of these so let's see whether it's coming or not so I'm gonna bring this field over here and now you can see my total sales is appearing absolutely fine so guys Probably you are wondering that the sum of uh, these two fields are not becoming 8169 of course it won't because this data is just for 2012 and 2013 and you can see this data is just for 2012 2013 but I have data much more than that and in that case if you need to verify your result what you can do you can verify something like that over here I have my data validation page in that one I have my customer key my total sales and my years so if I select all or if I won't select anything that means again the all it's coming exactly the same that means it's giving me the lifetime sales for any customer without any other filter supplied on it except the customer key however if you just need to verify these two you can select 2012 and 2013 and you will get it 4794 which is exactly the sum of these two fields I hope guys you really like today's video and if you have any question and concern please don't forget to let us know and share your feedback with us. If you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI videos and updates. See you in the next video.